Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Let's get it in there. Um, here we go. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel. Also known as Pastor Derek Mann on early what I see through scripture study and prayer line on this 24th day in June 2019. What's up, Jeff Brown? My big bro, man. What's up with your family? Good to see you on this morning. Um, yeah. I need to wake up for real, but uh, let's dive in the word, y'all. Let's go to uh, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy. Miss Foster, Miss Foster in the building. Uh, 1 Timothy 6 and let's say 12. Look what it say. It say. Of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of Yah, who quickeneth all things, and before Yahushua Hamashiach, who before uh, Pontius uh, a Pilate witnessed the good uh, confession, that thou. Keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Adonai, Yahushua Hamashiach. That's funny. 14 verse, he say, uh, we keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, 12 verse. Fight the good fight of faith. lay hold on to eternal life. Um, we got our hands full. And, um, and it's a war. We got, a, we, got a, we got our hands full and it's a war. And the word is to equip us and arm us with the right state of mind. And the right state of mind is to fight because have you ever had a fist fight before? Have anyone on here had a fist fight before? And somebody stole on you? Y'all know what that means? To steal on you? To steal on somebody? It means to hit them when they're not ready for it. To put them in a position where you get to just get one off on them. And sometimes that can end the whole fight too. So the word is here to arm you with the necessary state of mind not to get knocked out. Not to you know, lose the fight because it is a fight. Now, we know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This is a spiritual fight. This is not a natural fight. So it has, it has to do with your lifestyle and knowing that our, our desires be um, contrary. Let me, let me try to open this up for y'all. Listen. Um, it's totally different from being religious and having a true relationship. And there's more comfort in being religious than it is to have a true relationship. To have a true relationship it's a certain level of accountability and you have to fight 
You have to you you have to fight in order to be responsible for what you say. You know what a war it is to control your mouth? Not just to say anything. To to bite your tongue. James spoke well about the tongue, that it's an unruly evil, and it can be tamed by no man. The only thing that can tame the tongue is Yah, his spirit. And with his spirit, it's accomplishable, but we can quench the spirit, go against it, and fly off at the mouth. In order for us to control it, you got to fight. You, you, you have to fight not to roll along with your natural instincts. And our natural instincts are sinful. You got you to fight not, not to lust after your cup of tea if it's unlawful. For you to be lusting after them, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're married, or um, if you're, you know, you know, lonely, feeling some kind of way, it's a fight. Now, now, to keep it in this perspective, faith, what you do, or it's the reason you do what you do. If you don't do then you ain't got no faith. It's dead faith. If you don't do, if you don't obey Yah, then your faith is dead. So, so not to say faith is what you do. Faith is the reason you do what you do. You trust Yah, so you do. You obey him 100%. So the fight then is to do what he tell you to do regardless of the circumstances. And the circumstances is a trip. You want to talk about incidents? Circumstance after circumstance? Or you want to talk about our nature? It's all applicable. Fighting the good fight of faith will keep you fighting against your nature. You doing your natural born thing. You got to fight against that. You got to go to war against what you would normally say or what you would normally do, what comes natural for you. You have to fight against it. Circumstances. People put you in circumstances that you will respond in ways that's anti Yah. Yeah, people pe because we're in a we're in the valley of the shadow of death, and people are not right. People will continuously put you in situations that you can respond anti Yah, and in order not to respond. Anti Yah, you got to fight. The word is trying to give us the right state of mind, the proper perspective. If 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 you sit up under that happy go lucky false doctrine, then you're not tripping off your conduct on the level that you have to. Okay. Um, in the 14th verse to say that thou keep that thou keep this commandment without spot unrebukable until the appearing of the Messiah. So spot is sin. Unrebukable meaning can't nobody correct you because you walking right, you living right, you're doing what's right. So keep this commandment without spot, without sin. Not running around here having to be corrected until the appearing of the Messiah. Well, you at least got to admit, if you do that, you you gonna have to fight. <laughs> you go 
you 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 go you go you gonna have to fight your pet peeve. People rubbing you the wrong way. You don't feel like doing what y'all told you to do. The only way you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to fight. Let's look at this, y'all. Look, in Hebrews. Um Hebrews eleven. And 32. Look what it say. It say, And what shall I say more? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon and, and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, Stop the mouths of lions, fire, escape out of weakness were made strong, wax valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mocking and scourging, yeah, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. And they were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Sawn asunder is when you take a tree log and you hollow it out and you put a person in it and you saw through it. And the tree makes it go slow and, and, and make it a rough cut. So it's harder to do because it make it last longer and it's more torturous, right? And they were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and ghostskins, being destitute, afflicted, and uh, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. That's why he called you out of the world, called you out of the world, uh, called you out of the darkness, into the marvelous light. Say, come out from among them and be separate, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth. All these having obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise. <laughs> Yah having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. They had to wait on the, uh, the Mashiach for him to do his thing. But look at what all these people went through. Through faith. Now, giving you example, like, you know, I'll use the again the Babylonian captive names, Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They could have avoided the fiery furnace by just selling out, by bowing down. I don't want no problems, King. Let me do what you say do. So their faith was that they refused to do it regardless of the consequences. Period. And we got to arm ourselves with a state of mind like we won't bow down because we don't want to look like a chump. Some people sell out because they don't want to look bad. They, you ain't going to just chump me. Well, these guys here, they was finna be thrown into a barbecue pit, a lit pit, if they didn't comply. And they chose to tell them I'm not complying, throw me in. See, we got to arm ourselves with the right state of mind, knowing what faith is. We think faith is... Believe in y'all for our rent money. When faith is obeying him under excruciating circumstance, any circumstance, I don't care what the circumstance is. It could be easy to obey him. I'm obeying him. It could be difficult to obey him. I'm going to obey him. 
when you don't when you don't have the right state of mind to live this life, you are not going to live this life right. You don't think Yah is siding with you based on a carnal right. You gonna think Yah, you gonna you gonna look at the circumstance from a carnal perspective. Well, they shouldn't have said nothing to me. That's gonna be your position. I wouldn't have did that had they not did this. And you believe that Yah is going to side with your carnal position based on had they not done that, you wouldn't have done that. Well, the that that you did, Yah is the one that told you not to do it, regardless of what they did, if they did what they did first or not. Your obedience is an excuse or your disobedience is an excuse based on something someone else did. But when you don't arm yourself to fight or even know what true faith is, you'll fail the test every time. Oh, I'm saved. I don't bother nobody. See, they bothered me first. Oh, I don't like them because you see how they treat me? Well, faith would have you not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good like y'all told you to do. And your faith would be that you did it regardless of them treating you bad. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. And, 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 and we just read all these things, you know, through faith, subdued kingdoms. Well, Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego subdued the fiery furnace. What put them in the fiery furnace is they didn't try to avoid the furnace uh, 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 based on them selling you out. They were more like, I'd rather face the fiery furnace than to sell you out. I'd rather be talked down on than, than to sell you out. And the was uh, subdued the fire for them because they did not avoid the fire for him. He subdued the fire for them. And then they were exalted high in the kingdom. So folks would look at the blessing, the kingdom, as if that is um, the goal. No, that was some extra. That was, that's what, that's what Yah can do for you when you're obedient to him. But the true faith was, they didn't bow down. That was the faith. They refused to sin. They refused to sin, which then put the most high in a position to take the heat out of the flame for them. Met them in the flame and had a meeting. Yah's able to meet you in the middle of the situation because you refuse to use the situation as an excuse to sin. Oh, I stole from them uh, because they had stole from me before. They can't say nothing. I, I, I don't steal, see. I'm not a thief. Had they not stole from me, I never would have stole from them. <laughs> Who through faith subdued kingdoms? Wrought righteous and do and do do what is right. Wrought righteousness, obtain promises. Yah will fulfill a promise in your life if you obey Him. Yeah, stop the mouths of lions. Daniel was threatened to sell Yah. He said no. Then he was thrown in the, in the lion's den. And then the Most High closed the mouths of the lions. Then he exalted Daniel. We love to see the exaltation of, of a person, the, the, the tangible physical reward. But the true faith was there was a threat on his life to be eaten by lions if he didn't comply. He didn't comply. 
That's fighting the good fight of faith. He didn't, uh, Playboy didn't, he, he the, the guy didn't sleep with her. As beautiful as she was. He was attracted to her, but he didn't sleep with her because it was a sin. It was fornicate. He didn't do it. That's the faith. They made you out. You didn't cuss them out. That's the faith. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. You're assembling with the people of Yah faithfully. That's the faith. You're tired. You don't feel like it. But your faith. You you rather obey what Yah say than get you some rest. You you you'd rather obey Yah than to seek to save your own life, knowing that the word told you that if you seek to save your life, you're going to lose it. So you say, look, I'm going to lose my life. I'm going to do what he tell me to do. And I'm not going to let the circumstances dictate my level of obedience to him. Unless it's going to prove that I'm willing to obey him uh, up under some excruciating circumstances. Because I'm going to do what he say no matter no matter what, what the circumstance say. I'm not going to side with carnal mind people. I'm not going to side with the circumstance. But when you carnal, you don't think like that. You in the good fight of faith is it, 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 it's showing up for, <laughs> for mime service. You, you, you know, you're a mimer. You're a cold poet, <laughs> and you think uh, <laughs> through your faith, <laughs> you know, there ain't nothing wrong with rhyming, y'all. But through faith, through 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 them willing to fight, you got to fight, y'all. Them willing to fight the good fight of faith. They were able to withstand the wiles of the devil. The fiery darts of the devil. They were they were able to go through whatever they had to go through and still hold on to the most high. That's faith. It's not this stuff, man. This religious stuff. Folks marching around stuff seven times and laying hands on it and came out with the car and now come on, y'all. You you didn't cuss that man out at the dealership, end up with the car, and you at church bragging about you got the car. You got a bad deal in a, a cold APR. The interest rate is out through the roof. You bragging about what y'all did, and you went down there and acted a fool. You acted a fool and cussed out the manager. And you think, and but you want to brag about your faith. That's faithless. You, you can't you can't run around sin sinning and then end up with a, a physical reward and then blame that on your faith like you and y'all got it going on no you were nasty you were rude you got you got the car yeah they they rented you the house but you made y'all look bad but you want your but let you tell it your testimony is look what faith will do Look at what God will do. That's you. No, we got to cut that mess out. We 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 got to start. Uh, uh, we got to start accomplishing the real mission, the real position that Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, or and Daniel was put in, was I'm about to kill you. I'm about to destroy you. Unless you bow down. And they chose not to bow down. So then the saga continued. And the Most High dealt with the lions for them. Since they didn't try to avoid the lions. Then he subdued the flames. Because they didn't try to avoid the flames. Yeah. And then after that they were exalted. Don't come back with the prize and you didn't deny sin. You have to deny sin first. You deny sin, then you win. Then you can come back bragging on Yah. Then you can say through faith, 
I've subdued kingdoms. And wrought righteousness and obtained the promises. And stopped the mouths of lions and quenched the, the violence of fire. Escaped the edge of the sword. And out of weakness was made strong. Wax uh, 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 valiant in fight and, and, and turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Then you can start talking like that. But that church stuff, you were homeless and you ended up getting an apartment. But you acted a fool. That's not faith. And in order to do what they did, you got to fight. And what you're fighting is your evil nature. You would be fighting against how you normally would respond. You, you'd be fighting your reaction, your sinful reaction. That's what you're fighting against. You fellowship today? Now, why, man? Yeah, so so because you say the people is a trip, now you don't you can forsake assembly. You don't have to obey Yah. Just like they could have did. I would have I would never would have bought. I said no. Nah. They talking telling me to buy buy. I said no. Nah. I mean I got faith until they told me they was gonna throw me into the barbecue pit. Oh, when they showed me them big old dogs in the backyard and said they was going to throw me out there, that's the only time I bowed because I got faith. <laughs> uh, well, they said throw me to the dogs, put me in the barbecue pit because I'm not doing it. And in order to face the dogs, the lions, the barbecue pit and the fiery furnace, you got to fight yourself, your carnal nature. Because the, the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another, so you can't do what you want to do. You fight to give. You got to fight to forgive. You got you to gotta fight to study. You got to fight to, come on, y'all. You got to fight to be faithful to Yah. You got to fight to pray. You got to fight. You don't feel like it all the time. Some people do it when they feel like it, and they don't do it when they don't, and they think that that's faith. No, you, you're led by your flesh, because even the flesh uh, uh, on the outer appearance uh, like to do what's right sometimes. But true faith is you do right when you don't want to. When the circumstance tell you you better not obey y'all this one, you going to die. You better not obey y'all this one. You're going to lose the money. You're you you, you, you going to have to sell y'all out to save your own life. And a whole lot of people, unfortunately, when it come down to that, they're avoiding them lines and the fiery furnace. Now, uh -uh. I'm, not, I'm not doing it. God ain't made no fool. I'm not. Mm -mm, you ain't finna do that to me. It's not that serious. God know my heart. Come on, y'all. Let's fight. Let, 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 let's learn to fight right. Let's, let, let, let's, it's, a, it's a war. It's a fight. The, the word used violent terms because this is the, the, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. The violent taken by force. You got to grit your teeth to live this life fine as she is lonely as you is and she just is smiling and nice and looking good too you got to fight to keep your filthy hands to yourself and the word told you i professed a good profession for many witnesses you was witnessing to her too you didn't profess a good witness to her now you're laying on her you know you got to fight now you're laying on him you got to fight now you're in a fist fight with them. No, you got to fight. Now you're cussing them out. Now you got a grudge. You holding a grudge. You got to fight. That thou keep the commandment without spot, unrebukable unto the appearing of our Mashiach, Yahushua. Yahushua. Is that all right, y'all? That was a sermon there for this morning. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, humble to know how, gleaning in your word, praying that your word will forth with clarity, fall down the souls of your children, springing up an everlasting life. 
We pray and believe that it was done and it was accomplished and your children are even growing thereby. And we celebrate in the master name of Yahushua HaMashiach. That's why we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all, man. That was the lesson for this morning. We pray that it was simple and that you got something out of it enough to cause you to grow. Um, if, 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 if the lesson bless you, push the share button and allow it to bless us. It's a supporter of the ministry. We thank you uh, for doing that. Uh, we definitely appreciate financial support that we continue to do what we do uh, for y'all. Um, if you would like to become a supporter of the ministry, all you got to do is get the cash app. And if you do, just get to put in the money sign, Yahoo to Israel. That's the money sign, Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. And so a seed. And uh, I'll th I thank you now. And more importantly, Yah does as well. Um, if uh, you want to talk about the word, because I'm getting ready to get out of here. But if you heard the word and don't want to talk about it, that's a great thing. All you got to do is dial 302 202 1102 extension 815648 and we can talk about it your commentary on the word or get your prayer in again 302 202 1102 extension 815648 and brock shalom i'm gone